Hey everyone, I'm Dan Saavedra from MergeYourData.com and today we're going to be reviewing two questions you need to ask when building dashboards. Now think about how you've been designing and building dashboards so far. And to help you think about that, I'm going to go back in time here to see exactly what we might have done before we knew which questions were the right ones to ask. You might have thrown together a bunch of metrics and charts on a page without really thinking through exactly what you're measuring and looking at. Worse yet, you might have even thrown some pie charts up there because that's what the business asked for. We can avoid these messy mistakes if we ask two simple questions. So let's take a look at what those are. Now, the first question that we want to ask is what are the result metrics I'm looking to track? Now, the reason this is important is because we have to have a North Star. We have to know exactly what we're trying to achieve with our business. Now, these metrics aren't going to be how we're going to drive change in the organization, but they are important to track to see exactly how much progress we're making. Result metrics look something like revenue or on-time deliveries, or maybe even conversion rate. They're simple overarching metrics that can be tracked that are a result of day-to-day -day changes in behavior. The simplest way to define this is that it's a big goal about where you want to be or multiple goals about where you want to be. And once we have those result metrics defined, we're able to move into the second question, which is what are behaviors I want to track and change to get that result? These behaviors are how we're going to define the other metrics on our dashboard that are ultimately going to drive daily change in behaviors of both our team and ourselves. These are the numbers and insights that you can actually see changing each day when you're looking at your dashboard. It gives our team members and ourselves a very specific target of what we need to do for that exact day in order to achieve the results that we want to see later. These behaviors that we're measuring might look something like meaningful conversations or picking and packing speed and accuracy if we're in a logistics or shipping business, or even blog posts per week that are addressing past customer questions. This type of behavior metric will allow you to generate more demand for your business and ultimately see an uptick in revenue and answer questions that customers are asking. In the simplest definition, it's a number that you and your team can influence each and every day with a change in your behavior. Ultimately, it'll lead to the results that you're looking for. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan Savedra from MergerData.com. I run an analytics business that specializes in these types of projects all the time. We offer analytics retainers and rentable data teams. Hopefully these two questions will help you develop better dashboards for both yourself, your team, and your business.